Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Armel, and we're out here at the BASF Research Farm to give you some quick tips on how to identify key weed species in your area. And one of these weed species I'm going to talk to you about today is large crabgrass, which is a problematic weed in not only agronomic environments, but it can also be a problematic weed in home lawns, pasture, and other areas. Crabgrass can be a pain to get, boy, this is tough, it can be a pain to get out of the ground because of the prostrate growth. It likes to put off roots right here at these nodes. So each one of these nodes, as it creeps out, is gonna set roots and thereby anchor itself into that soil so it becomes more sturdy in the ground. Also, you'll notice with large crabgrass at these nodes, some of the characteristics that help distinguish it from other grasses, it has a lot of coarse hairs that grow right around the tops of these nodes. And these coarse hairs go all the way out to where this ligule is. Here, if you look at the, the ligule for large crabgrass, it is a jagged membranous ligule. So it looks like a little membrane that's got a little bit of a wavy jag to it. And if you look on either side of it, it's got a lot of coarse hairs on both sides of it. The large crabgrass doesn't always grow prostrate like we see here. When it has severe weed competition, it can grow to about two and a half feet tall. Why do we need to identify large crabgrass? Well, there's certain herbicide chemistries that do not control it very well post-emergence. Different geographies, especially, Crabgrass tends to be a later season emerging weed, so sometimes pre-emergence herbicides don't do a very good job of holding it back for a full complete season. If you're interested in any additional information on weed identification, weed control methods, or advanced weed control, please visit our website at www.advancedweedcontrol.basf.us.